how much has been used. So, you know, anything from like 0.1 of a milligram doses, but generally we have one brand and that is two milligrams. Hi everybody and welcome back to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am Fiona Chin, qualified naturopath and co-founder of Kygenesis and the Kidney Disease Solution. And I'm joined today by the beautiful Emily Cahill. And so why don't we just start with an overview of what is melatonin? What is this? Is it a hormone? Is it a chemical? Where does it come from? Who, what, what part of the body just produces it? Is it only in a pill? Do we make it ourselves? Why don't we start there? So melatonin is a hormone and it's produced by our pineal gland, which is in our brain. It's down there somewhere. Um, and it's it, a pineal gland. Of, yeah, of course, pineal <laughs> gland. Um, I know. Um, and so, yeah, it's made in the, I'm going to say pineal cause I don't like pineal. Um, the pineal gland from, uh, serotonin. So serotonin is one of our neurotransmitters. Um, so it gets converted from serotonin into melatonin and we release it uh, in response to light, um, light and darkness. So Traditionally, it's known and, you know, often only known for its role in sleep. So melatonin is our sleep hormone, if you want to call it that. And what that means is that during the day, while we're awake, our melatonin levels drop. Um, and then as we're getting closer to the evening, what should happen um, it, and when we're starting to be exposed to more darkness, our melatonin levels rise. Um, and that's when we release most of our melatonin, which helps us feel sleepy, um, and fall asleep and then helps us stay asleep during the night, um, as well. So, uh, I would say it generally when it's prescribed and probably every time I've seen it. Um, prescribed, it's prescribed to help people with sleep and that's often the only thing it's used for medically. The trouble is that um, generally uh, dosing melatonin, so there's no um, standard, I guess, recommendation for dose of melatonin. It's quite very individual too, right? Yes, yeah, exactly. And this, again, the studies are very varied as to how much has been used. So, you know, anything from like 0.1 of a milligram, uh, up to yes, teeny tiny, um, up to, I think probably I have seen studies of 80 milligrams, but that was in particular circumstances. Yeah. Um, but generally for sleep, you know, say the studies generally for sleep are sort of between one and five milligrams. Um, but the studies for the use of melatonin in cancer are almost all 20 milligrams. Right. Um, so there's one of the difficulties is that particularly in Australia where we need a script for melatonin, um, the I general. They would be prescribing that right. Exactly. Um, so, uh, yes, you can get compounded um, higher doses, but generally we have one brand and that is two milligrams. So if I'm wanting someone to take 20 milligrams, then we're talking about them taking 10 tablets. Often doctors obviously are not, uh, wanting to prescribe that higher dose. Um, and that's, you know, where we can get into a little bit of difficulty. Now, the difficulty also is that who's to say, that 10 milligrams isn't just as effective. It may well be, we just don't have the studies to back it up. So that's where it gets um, a little bit tricky in terms of, of people taking melatonin. And, and again, I'm specifically talking about cancer, um, you know, but just because of that is considered a very high dose and yeah, it's not necessarily going to be prescribed. So if you've liked this video, remember to give us a like, hit subscribe, and then you'll get notified anytime a um, new video comes along. If there's anything you want Emily and I to talk about, or if you want me to get any other guests on, let us know in the comment section. I read both all the time. 
Emily, thank you again for your information and sharing with our tribe. Um, yeah, hit like, hit subscribe. We'll talk to you next time. And thanks for being part of our community. We really value and appreciate you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.